Hello, my beautiful wildflowers. How are you today? Alex is here with Oat Modesty. I hope you guys are doing well. Today, I have a new box and I'm really excited by it because it's food and I love food. And it is the snack crate. And if you're interested in seeing what's in here, please stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, welcome back my beautiful wildflowers. I am really, really, really happy slash excited today for two reasons. Number one, I get to introduce a new box, the Snack Crate. And number two is because I'm gonna have help introducing it to you. And matter of fact, it is going to be a silent partner. And the reason why I decided to do that is because the first snack crate is not a surprise because you get to choose what you want for your first box. And of course, what country did I choose? Japan. Yep. Country of my origin. And you know what? I so miss their food. And I know they have Japanese food here in California and elsewhere, but it just isn't the same. The ingredients just don't taste the same. So I'm really super excited about this box. But because I'm a little biased and my taste buds are used to the Japanese flavoring, I got a helper today, my silent partner. Even though he's not gonna appear on video, you will see his, I think he'll give a thumbs up, thumbs down, or yeah, it's okay. And you might hear him crunching too. But before we get into that, let's do a card, the affirmation card, and today is going to be, she believed she could, so she did. Okay, and let's see. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, and there it is. And it is by Arthur Clark, Arthur C. Clark. And he said, the limits of the possibilities. Hold on one minute. Let me start over. The limits of the possible can only be defined by going beyond them into the impossible. The limits of the possible can only be defined by going beyond them into the impossible. And this is a good card. The first thing that comes into my mind is, you know how people tell you, you know, well, that's impossible, but you have to get into that area or into that thought of, okay, it's impossible. Is it really impossible? And people can discourage you. And I'm gonna say, if everybody thought that way, we would have no progress. We would have no innovation. It's those individuals that take what the majority says is impossible and make it possible. And a good uh, example that comes to mind is Diane Leather. And she, and a lot of people don't know this, she is the first human to run a mile in under five minutes. And it was a woman. And you hear about the other men that did it in under four and whatever the, you know, whatever it is. But they said, there's no way a mile can be run under five minutes. Guess what? She took that impossible and made it possible. And she ran it sub five minutes. So yeah, the limits of the possi possible, I don't know why I want to say possibility, but it, it does work. The limits of the possible can only be defined by going beyond them into the impossible, right? And so I try to do that. And a lot of times people will discourage you because maybe they can't do it or because they've been told they can't do it or they've been told that it cannot be done by humans. But there is like thousands of examples where they say, no, that's not possible. Going to the moon, no. How are you gonna get there? You can't drive there. You can't fly on an airplane there. But guess what? It became possible, didn't it? So like I said, it's so important that you don't set your limits by what other people say or what other people set as a standard of possibility and impossibility. And you just don't wanna do that because guess, you know, guess what? You can do it if you put your heart into it. As long as you prepare for it, it's, you know, it's not like I can say, okay, I can run a mile in under five minutes or under four minutes. Now, no, I haven't trained. That doesn't make any sense, but you have to work at it. 
And I'm sure Diane Leather, when she ran the five mile and five miles, one mile under five minutes, she trained for it. She worked, she worked, she worked. And I'm sure she had more failures than she had successes. I guaranteed until she ran that first mile in under five minutes, she had to try. And as long as she was trying, I mean, it was, it was conditioning her to be able to meet that goal. So you guys don't let anybody tell you something is impossible. Don't let them tell you that you're not going to get through college. I mean, you dropped out of school, you got your GED. And so there's no way you're going to get, uh, get through college. And if you do, you're not going to get your masters. Don't let them tell you that because that's, that isn't true. Okay. That definitely isn't true because I've seen it happen. Okay. So, okay. My beautiful wildflowers enough of that, but I want to leave you with the fact that, you know, challenge yourself challenge yourself if somebody told you you can't do something prove them wrong okay don't say yes i can yes i can't no don't don't even speak just prove them wrong okay Alrighty, good card and now uh the snack crate so give me a moment while i go drag in my partner so we can introduce this to you i'll be right back okay we're back my beautiful wildflowers so Let's go ahead and get this open. Uh, what did I do with my cutter? Oh, thank you. Okay, so as I said, I have a silent partner today and he's gonna be assisting me. And because I'm biased, this is Japanese food, I'm gonna love it all, okay? But let's see what he likes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it and show you how it comes, you see? The first thing you see is the country of origin. It's this Japan snack crate. And it says, get social with us, hashtag snack right. And let me show you what this, oh, okay. Once I lift that up, all of the stuff is here. And it looks like there's some uh, pamphlets here with information. And what else is here? Let's see what it says. Okay. It says here, uh, the country of Japan is made up of clusters of islands located in the pacific ocean the small but mighty nation is home to 126 million people and spans a total of 145,882 square miles japan was established in 539 a.d meaning it has a rich history and has contributed to the agriculture and even atomic bombs japan has proven its resiliency by continuing to flourish over thousands and thousands of years so it goes on and on and on and um so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and give you uh highlights okay so anyways you can see what's in here it looks yummy wow okay um i did get the premium box and they do have a base box which has got i think um eight or ten items and this is, has like 12 to 16 and there's also ones for like 26 items but i don't want to go there that's a lot of food okay and you know you know me and i um, trying to limit my carbs so let's see okay very interesting um el tacos huh dorito tacos okay all right and i guess this is their version of doritos okay so i'm just yeah showing my silent partner he's just staring me down like oh god i gotta eat all that so and this is crates and we have ooh candy huh sours and there's a bunch and bunch and bunch of like little things you know oh these are wafers i can feel them and let's see you know what they have a lot more nowadays you know when i was a kid they didn't have this many stuff you know but yeah but they all seem kind of familiar and pondero this actually was around and i i like it it's good um and let's see what else is this and these looks like kind of like a gummies okay and uh let's see oh i do like these wow huh and these are grape and fruit chewies high chew hey i've gotten this in hawaii and but they don't have that kind and we have these little choco locos and and this you probably seen it even in your grocery store these are the pretzels okay and so I don't want to open all of this because this is a lot of food and I don't want it to go bad because these are all kind of like the carby types that will go stale. So I'm going to choose a few that's kind of sort of unique. And because I want my silent partner here to give me the, you know, the thumbs up, thumbs down or so-so. Okay. And so first, you know what? I'm really curious about this. So 
This is supposed to taste like tacos, right? And what does it say? Do I have something that says something about this? Okay. Yeah, there it is. Okay, this is the uh, Koiki Adong Tacos, a Japanese spin on a Mexican cuisine. These crunchy corn tortilla chips have a unique tangy and savory flavor, boasting hints of fresh salsa. Ooh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open it. <laughs> I hope it doesn't explode. <laughs> you know me, bull in a china shop. Oh, yeah, that's kind of taste. I haven't tasted it yet. kind of smells like... The regular Doritos. Hmm. I don't know if that's unique to Japan. I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't. It tastes like tacos. You know, it's not something. Can I get it back? Thank you. Okay. You want more? Okay, we have a thumbs up. Okay, great. Alrighty. Uh, it's weird because I can see in his face that he really enjoys it. But the problem is the fact that, um, hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I got something stuck in my teeth. So anyway, so, uh, yeah, as I was saying, it's not a unique flavor to Japan. If I had a choice to get this snack, like, and I could only have like three, I wouldn't choose it. I mean, the flavor obviously is good because my silent partner likes it. And guess what? He's not like Mikey. He doesn't like everything, right? And so, yeah. And now, um, let's do something um, unique. This is called a crate. This is edamame and it's the soybean. And this is, I mean, definitely a huge in Japan. And, and it, it, mm, yeah, it comes, it looks like this. Okay, so it is soybeans. You know what? This tastes more like okra. But I do remember this flavor. Oh, sorry. Hmm, I do remember this flavor distinctly. Yeah. I think this is going to be an acquired taste. Okay, we have another thumbs up. Well, oh, this is good. Two for two. Because, you know, like I said, picky eater. So, yeah. And uh, let's see. And, you know what? Let's do something that was pretty savory. And so, we will go ahead and do something a little bit sweet. And uh, let's see. And this right here is uh, fugashi. It's called fugashi, which means uh, like a puffed uh, snack, okay, in Japanese. And so let me see here. I'm going to have all these open. Okay, it says this traditional snack stick is made of fried wheat and coated with brown sugar. While the outside has a crunchy texture, the inside remains a fluffy surprise. Hmm, let's see. And I do remember what fugashi tastes like. And let's see. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Oh, hoo, 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 you see that? Oh my gosh. This is like almost like fluffy mochi. Mmm. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. Just like this. Gimme, gimme, gimme. You can, yeah, you can take a bite. It's a little hard to. I can't tell by the look on his face. It's like. Okay, so, so. It's not bad. So, okay, that's good. But you know what? I like it. Okay. He said no. Okay. All right, that's that. And so I'm going to do a couple of more. And I'm going to try to pick something that, you know, at least. Uh, let's see, what is this? What is this one here? Um, this one is going to be a mon monster. What? Uh, I wouldn't want to do gum right now. We do not want to do gum right now. No gum, no gum. And let's see. This one here is by, it's a umaibo. And this delicious stick is puffed 
corn snack with the perfect amount of crunchy and available in many flavors. We've included a few of our favorites to try. So we're only gonna try one, okay? And here it is, okay? And some of these things, you know, I may not remember the name of them, but once it, it hits my taste buds, I'm like, yep, yep, remember that. You know what? Oh, I'm gonna love this. I'm gonna love this. I know I'm gonna love this. Mmm, reminds me of childhood. Seriously. And now this you cannot get here. This you cannot get here. There you go. Let's see. Okay, great. Thumbs up. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do just one more and then we'll call it quits because I don't wanna open all of these because we're not gonna eat all of this and yeah. Um, I wanna be able to save it, okay guys? And so this time we're gonna do some gummy sours. And let's see. And I like gummy sours. And let's see. And they say kame kame. Why does it say kame kame? That means turtle. Kame kame sour. See, it says kame kame. Kame itself is a turtle. Kame kame, I guess it's a cute spin on it. So, let me see. Oh, it's because it's shaped like a turtle. Okay. Ooh. Mmm. This reminds me of a drink they have. Mmm. It's like a soda drink. This is not sours like American sours. This is more like um. If you could make soda or Sprite into a um, gummy, this is it. This is definitely it. Mmm. So. Okie dokie. So, alrighty. Okay. Okay, that was that. So, what did we try today? We tried Kame Kame Sours. And we got a, ah, it's okay. And next our puffed Japanese snack. We got a thumbs up on that one. And for the crates, what was that? Okay, thumbs up on this one. I can't remember it all. And because I know there was one that he's like, yeah, okay. And I, this was it right here. And with, this is a crunchy and soft inside. And I know why he doesn't care for it. It's the texture, because it's a texture eater. Hmm, so, okay. Oh, see? Bull in the China shop. Okie dokie. And the rest of it, I will let you know if there's anything that stands out. But that's it for today, okay? And the snack crate is $24.95 a month. And you get a different country. And this time, I got Japan because your first box, you can choose. And I want to choose Japan, okay? But next month, it will be definitely a surprise for me, for you. And I don't typically watch videos, unboxing videos of something I'm going to get because I want to be surprised because I love surprises. I don't know about you. But let me know below what you think. And um, if you're interested, you know, uh, what country would you be interested in trying? I'm just curious. What kind of snacks do you like? Okay. Alrighty then. So if I added any value, please hit like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button, ringing a bell, and also hitting all so you know every time I upload a brand new video. Okay, my beautiful wallflowers, I want you to have a good day, a good night, a good week, or a good weekend. It doesn't matter when you're watching this, but just remember, in a field of roses, be a wildflower and never spit the small stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.